Hello, welcome to this video in which I'll give you an introduction to the Emulytics preclinical software. So this software is meant for a multimodal image analysis of preclinical image data here and you can here see an example of a micro CT scan of a mouse and we have an FTG scan here in red and a segmentation and in the um, overlay we also have multiple channels for example iodine tracer here and here a tracer that accumulates in bones and the liver that's a technetium, a spec tracer <clears throat> so with the software you can load this data from multiple modalities you can generate a segmentation like this here then you can uh, quantify the statistics, you get the values for the segmentation, the volumes and the uptake for example. You can also process um, 4D data. Here I can load a dynamic data set. Here uh, from a PET CT with an um, injection of FDG and here we can select uh, which layer to operate, underlay or overlay. And if I go to the overlay, I can now go through the time points and you can see how the contrast agent goes through the mouse and accumulates in the heart, for example, in the, and in the urinary bladder. And then you can uh, segment the region. Here I'll just give an example. Um, with the ISO tool, you can just click here at the heart, and now we have the heart segmented. Or let's go to the to the bladder here. Now we have the bladder, and now we can get the statistics as function of time, and you can show that in a graph here. So this is a time activity curve for the heart and the bladder, for example, and you can save it to a CSV file. So um, to learn the software, you can, to learn how to use the software, you can load a tutorial here and you can watch the movie associated to it. And then you can practice with the data. So the data comes with the software, it is installed with the software. And for example, there are other tutorials also for this is for a bone implant here, for example, or um, for trabecular bone. Here, so we have um, a very nice and fast m module here for trabecular analysis. And all that you can watch and learn in these tutorials here. And to give you a little bit of an overview, <clears throat> you can here turn on the 3D view, turn on different slice views here. If you do a segmentation operation, so let me just dilate this class here, make it bigger, you can undo that. You can also do image operations, so you can apply a Gaussian filter, for example, to smooth the data set. You can also undo that. You can perform cropping here, if you want to crop to a region like that. And <clears throat> you have many settings here, so on this toolbar, these are the general settings, so you can select which layer to show. Uh, to show the segmentation or not. You can toggle the interpolation or different slice views here. And But there's another video that explains the upper toolbar more in detail. And then here we have this vertical toolbar that is for the mouse modes and that those determine what you do. So this is for slicing through. Um, this is to jump somewhere, so if you click here into the, this one, it'll focus all the views in there and you can click somewhere in 3D and it'll jump there also. <clears throat> this is for uh, panning, this is for zooming, this is for rotation, 
So the, all these are setting your what your mouse does. And that is also described in one of the next tutorial videos. And then you can uh, of course load your own data sets here. You can load an underlay, load a segmentation, an overlay or a special overlay just for the camera, for example for bioluminescence data. <clears throat> and then you can process your own data of course and save the results in a segmentation file or a project file which stores the whole scene or project that you have generated. Okay, I hope this helps and then thank you and bye bye.